Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we are checking out 100 Camp Cretaceous and Jurassic World figures. Let's get started with these brand new packs that I bought, starting with the Darius and Gallimimus set. Let's open it up. So this pack comes with Darius, comes with the Gallimimus, brown coloring, a little bit of yellow striping on top, comes with a baby, I think that's a baby Triceratops. Plus, it comes with a Velociraptor vocal resonator that Darius can use. That is really cool. There's a lot of pieces in this set. Next up, we've got the Kenji and Monolophosaurus set. Let's open it up. Here's Kenji. Yippee! Fully adjustable with all the limbs. Here is the blue scooter that Kenji can ride on. And of course, here is the Monolophosaurus. Oh. This is a darker colored Monolophosaurus. It's got some lighter detailing along the top. That's totally cool. Next up, we've got the Brooklyn and Monolophosaurus. Let's open this up. Bingo. All right, here is Brooklyn riding on top of the blue scooter. And here is the light brown Monolophosaurus with gray detailing on the top. Also, its feet are gray too. That's interesting. These are some pretty cool sets. I like that they have multiple pieces in them. <laughs> Next up, we've got a ginormous dinosaur figure. This is the super colossal Carnotaurus Toro. This figure is huge. It's wider than both of the dinosaur bins back here. All over its body is super textured. You can see that there's bumps and spikes all over. This Carnotaurus has a feeding feature. You can put miniature dinosaurs down its throat all the way to its stomach compartment right down here. And it's got the white underbelly, red side, and the brown top. Next up, we've got the super colossal Indominus Rex. This is the same size as that Carnotaurus that we just saw. And it also has super spiky and bumpy texturing all over its body. And just like the Carnotaurus, this Indominus Rex can also eat miniature dinosaurs. So you can have a little dinosaur here, feed it down the throat, and then you can take that miniature dinosaur out of the stomach compartment. Here is a huge Mosasaurus. This dinosaur lives in the ocean, and I bet you remember this from the first Jurassic World movie. Its body is pretty rubbery, so you can actually press into it and have some give. All in all, this is a pretty cool figure. Right back here, we've got a super awesome colored Tyrannosaurus Rex with camouflage coloring. Look at that bright green on the side, and then there's brown and black all over. Plus, there is a sound effect for stomping right on its foot. That's a pretty cool built-in feature. Here we've got another T-Rex. This one is normal colored though. The light brown on the sides, dark brown on the top. Here is another custom colored T-Rex. This one is super cool and super bright. It can move just like all the other T-Rex figures that I have, but check out this coloring. It's got the brightest red on the bottom and then it darkens all the way to the striping and the black on the top. That is so cool. Right over here, we've got a giant Indominus Rex, though it's not as big as the super colossal one. This figure has two actions. It's got a slashing action, and then it's got a roar action. Here is another Indominus Rex. Can you tell anything different about this one though? That's right, this one has battle damage on the side. How cool is that? Other than the battle damage, this Indominus Rex looks just like the one we just saw. Over here, we've got a Tyrannosaurus Rex with a tearing action. Plus, it has a tail sweep action too. This is another Tyrannosaurus Rex, but this one has battle damage on the side, just like the Indominus Rex. Way over here, we've got a Spinosaurus with a light brown side, darker brown along the top, and that bright red spine, 
bright red face too. Over here, way in the back, we've got another T-Rex. The color of this T-Rex is a brown oranges color on the sides with a darker brown on the top and a lighter underbelly. Over here, we've got a Carnotaurus, way smaller than the Super Colossal, but still the same coloring. It's got those dark spots on its legs and on its side. Right up top here, I believe this is a Pentaceratops. Look at that, it's got one, two, three, four, five main horns. And this Pentaceratops has two actions. The first is for roaring, and the second swivels its torso around. Here we've got another orange brown Tyrannosaurus Rex, but this one has battle damage all over its body. Check that out. You can see the slashes from where it's been hurt in battle. Here is a darker T-Rex. It's built very similarly, but it's got the dark brown on the top, and then it's got a gray brown on the sides and a lighter underbelly. Here we've got a Mega Stegosaurus. Check out the actions on this one. Here is a dark green Triceratops with brown detailing on the top. Next up is a Cryolophosaurus. This dinosaur is dark blue with white and orange detailing all along the top. Here is our first winged dinosaur of this collection. This is a Pteranodon. It's got the dark blue underbelly and on the bottom of the wings and a dark red and white along the top. Right over here is an Allosaurus. This one is super colorful with green, white, and red right along the neck. And it's got a slide action. Next up, we've got two matching sarcosaguses. Both of them have the purple on the top with all those bumps and spines, and then orange and red and blue underbellies. Here is a dark blue Carcharodontosaurus with orange and brown detailing along the top. Plus, this dinosaur has an action button. Next up is another Carcharodontosaurus, but this one is a tan yellow color along its whole body, and it's got the orange and brown striping along the top. Here is a dangerous looking herbivore. This is a Kentrosaurus, and it's got some massive spikes along its body and right along its shoulders too. This dinosaur also has a slide action that twists its torso back and forth. Here is a nasty looking predator. This is a Tarbosaurus. It's got the bright red under the chin. The rest of its body is gray with darker gray striping along the top. This dinosaur is a Ceratosaurus. It's got a dark brown body with brighter orange detailing along the top and sides. It's got that orange horn right at the top. Here is another Ceratosaurus but with different coloring got the light gray on the underbelly and sides with the darker detailing on the leg and the bright red along its back all the way up to its head with the white horn. This huge dinosaur is called a Nasutoceratops. Check out the horns on the front right there. Those are bigger than a Triceratops, I think. This dinosaur right over here is an Ankylosaurus. This dinosaur is super protected, as you can see from all this armor on the top and those spikes too. This is a really cool dinosaur. This is a Baryonyx. And look at that bright reflective blue right along the top of its head. And we've got some Velociraptors in here too. Let's check out a few. This first one is a bright green Velociraptor that's in the sneaking pose. This next Velociraptor, it's got a tan underbelly and a brown top. 
and this one has a slashing action. And this Velociraptor is bright yellow on the side with a lighter underbelly and a brown top, and it's got battle damage. Let's see what else we can find in here. Oh, we've got some Monolophosauruses. I've got three of them right here, all with different coloring. This first one is a bright green color with battle damage on the side and black striping on the top. This next one is a dark green color on the bottom and the sides with bright yellow on the top and a little bit of red right on its face. And this model Ophosaurus is a, it's almost a pinkish color on the sides with a darker color on the top and a little bit of yellow right on the top of its face. All right, here is another Carnotaurus. This is a darker color than the other ones that we have and it's still fully adjustable and it's got an action button on its back for chomping. Here's another Stegosaurus. This is a big dinosaur, and this has a tail sweeping action too. Coming right up is another Allosaurus with gray coloring on the bottom and the sides and yellow detailing along the top. Check out that face too. Here is a weird looking dinosaur. This is a Suchomimus. It's got blue on the bottom and the sides and yellow on the top. All right, another Baryonyx. This one also has bright blue along the top of its head, but it's not reflective, so it is a bit different. Plus, it's got this slide action too. We've got a massive Triceratops in a clay red color, and it's got an action button on the top for roaring. We've got some more armored dinosaurs right here. This big one is another Ankylosaurus, and it's got a slide action on the top to swing its tail. This little red one is called a Minmi and it's got all those spikes all along the top of its body. And this small green dinosaur is a Sauropelta, the bright green underbelly and a darker green top. And those are some massive spikes on the side right there. Check that out. Let's check out a few more raptors in here. All right, I found four more raptors. First is a bright green Velociraptor in the standing position. The second is Velociraptor Blue with the iconic blue stripe all the way down its body. This Velociraptor is a dark red color with purple on the sides and is in the standing position. And this final Velociraptor is blue on the sides, orange along the top and gold right along its head. Here's a dangerous dinosaur. These both are Dilophosauruses, each with their own unique coloring. Look at those bright colors along the back of this one. Next up, we've got a few, I think these are Stigimalox. Once again, they're both differently colored. This has a yellow orange coloring along the top. This one is more of a green color with brown on the top and with red horns. Oh, I see another Velociraptor in here. I must've missed this one. This is like a dark brown, almost purple in the right light. And it's got some orange on the top and on its head. Here are two baby Brachiosauruses. One is a soft green color with dark green along the top. And the other is a dark gray color with like a purple red color on the top. Which one do you think would blend into the jungle more? This is a Protoceratops, I believe. It's got the soft green color on the side and yellow detailing along the top, all the way to the tail. Right back here, we've got a baby T-Rex. This one is bright green and has a chomping action too. Right over here, we've got two Gallimimuses. One is a soft tan color on the side with brown striping on the top, and it's got an action button. 
And the second Gallimimus is a bright orange with blue and red detailing on the top. Here's another scary looking dinosaur. This is a Herrerasaurus. It's got a blue gray color on the sides and that white detailing along the top. Just a few more dinosaurs left in this first bin. This is a Shringosaurus. It's got a super long neck and a yellow and brown body. This next dinosaur is a Musasaurus or Musasaurus. I'm actually not sure how to pronounce it. This dinosaur is bright blue on the sides with the yellow underbelly and the black detailing along the top. Here we've got a dinosaur that looks kind of like a Stegosaurus, but it is a Chialingosaurus. Look at those little spikes on its shoulder. It's got all these other spikes right along its tail too. Next up is a Cosmoceratops. Look at how fancy the front of its face is. That is really cool. Here's another predator. This is a Masiakosaurus. It's got a dark red coloring along most of its body and all those yellow dots along the top of its body. And here's another Triceratops looking dinosaur, but this is actually a Styracosaurus. One bin down, one to go. Let's see what else we've got. Here is a Scorpios Rex, the dark body and two action buttons. This is a Stegosaurus with a different coloring than the other ones we've seen. This is a light blue green color over its whole body and it gets darker along the top. Here's another winged dinosaur. This is a Quetzalcoatl. This is a huge dinosaur. This is an Albertosaurus with battle damage on the side. You can even move the ribs up and down. This is another Ceratosaurus. We've actually got two Ceratosauruses here. One is a dark green color with black detailing on the top. And the other is gray on the belly and got red and dark gray detailing on the top. This is an Oranosaurus, and this has some pretty interesting colors on it. Most of its body is a dark green, but it's got some bright yellow, it's got some orange and some bright blue right on the tip of its face. Here's another big dinosaur. This is a Cynoceratops. It's got a green body with tan detailing along the top and an action button for roaring. Way in the back here, we've got another predator. This is the Majungasaurus. It's got some bright coloring right along its neck and back. Here is another massive Stegosaurus with blue gray coloring on the side and a darker gray on the top and like a pink underbelly. Here is a Triceratops. This one is brown with blue detailing right on the top. And I've actually got, I think a few more Triceratops in here. It's a dark green one. And also a smaller Triceratops with battle damage on the side. Got some more super armored dinosaurs in the front. This is a Sauropelta. This one is red on the top and brown on the bottom. And this is an Ankylosaurus, red on the bottom and brown on the top. These dinosaurs like to headbutt. This is a Pachycephalosaurus with battle damage. I've actually got another one down here too that is purple colored and also has an action button with the tail for the headbutting. Got a huge herbivore right here. This is a Parasaurolophus. Bright yellow with brown on the sides and two action buttons. <laughs> Here's another huge winged dinosaur. This, I believe, is another Pteranodon. It's got the orange wings on the top and the bright yellow head. This dinosaur is huge. This is a Cynoceratops. It's got a green body with light tan detailing on the top. 
got a few more Herrerasauruses in here. Here's the first. It's like a light green color with some darker colors on the top. <coughs> and the other Herrerasaurus is a lighter green color with brown and red. And it's got battle damage on the side too. Next up, we've got a super spiky dinosaur. This is the Miragaya. Here's a dinosaur that lives in the water. This is a Plesiosaurus. Over here, we've got a baby Ankylosaurus. This one is called Bumpy. Next up is an herbivore called the Calivosaurus. It's got a dark blue side and the orange detailing on the top. Here is a smaller Pteranodon, and it's actually got some damage right there in its wing, as well as the battle damage right on the top of its body. <coughs> this dinosaur is a Protoceratops with the purple side and the yellow detailing along the top. <coughs> and last of all is a good old Stigimaloc. It's got an orange red body with darker detailing along the top and the tail action for headbutting. Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we are checking out a huge bucket full of Camp Cretaceous, Jurassic World, and Jurassic Park figures. And I've even got some brand new dinosaurs here. Check this one out. This is the Scorpios Rex. Let's go ahead and open it up. The Great Scorpios Rex. Let's see what kind of actions this toy can do. Let's see. It's got a button up here. Let's see what this does. All right, so it's got a roaring action and then a second button. Let's see what that does. All right on, it's a slashing action. So we've got a bite and roar action and the slashing action. Also, check out the spikes on the back of this dinosaur. I believe that these spikes are actually poisonous so they can be used when they're fighting another dinosaur. And we've got two more brand new dinosaur toys to check out. Let's go ahead and open up the Owen Grady figure. All right, so here is Owen Grady. He is fully adjustable, can bend his legs, his knees, his arms, even his torso too. And it comes with this cool little stand that you can stand him on. So you can display him on your shelf. Just like that. All right, very cool. I'm gonna add him to my collection on the shelf. And our last brand new dinosaur, we got a good old Velociraptor. Let's see what it can do. So its arms are movable and it looks like it, and it looks like his torso twists back and forth too. That must be its slashing action. Look at those claws right there. <laughs> All right, let's dig into our giant bin. First up, we've got this giant custom colored Indominus Rex. Look at the coloring on that. This is one of the brightest dinosaurs I have and it is absolutely gorgeous. And it's got a button up here so you can slash with its claws. Next up, we've got, look at this. I think this is a hybrid T-Rex. So it looks mostly like a T-Rex. Then you notice it's got these spines on its back that you can actually push in. And then pressing the button right here, you can have it pop out just like that. Over here, we've got one of my favorites, the T-Rex with battle damage. 
And this T-Rex is fully posable, so you can actually keep his mouth open. So if you want to like display him in a certain pose, you can do that with this T-Rex, which I really like. And we've got some really brightly colored dinosaurs in here too. Look at this. This must be some type of hybrid Dilophosaurus. This is a super bright dinosaur. Look at that neon green and yellow coloring, and then that bright orange coloring on its back, and then these huge, I don't know if they're wings or frills or what they are. <coughs> Those are really scary looking though. Over here is another giant T-Rex, and the coloring on this one is super realistic, and the texture too. Look how detailed that is. That looks like real skin. And then of course, some massive teeth. What dinosaur is this? Oh, I think I know what it is. It is a Spinosaurus. And this one has really cool coloring. Look at that blue on the top of its spine right there. I don't see any blue on the rest of its body. So that's pretty special. And it's got some green eyes. Look at that. And some huge nasty teeth in its mouth. Wow, this is a huge, scary dinosaur. And the claws too, look at those claws. Those are ginormous. Let's keep digging, let's go with uh, this one right here. Oh, this is a loud dinosaur. This is a Carnotaurus and he's ready for a fight. Check out those horns on the top of its head and it's even got like tiny little spikes all along its back too. I've got a question for you. Who do you think would win in a fight? A T-Rex? Like this guy or a Carnotaurus? Comment below, who do you think would win? And on this T-Rex too, it's got some unique functions. So first, you can, you can uh, pose him like that, and then when you hit the tail, he slams downward with his jaws, as if he's about to bite something. That is amazing. I really like the coloring on this. Oh, what's that we have here? I actually don't know what kind of dinosaur this is. Do you know what kind? Comment below and let me know. This is a super brightly colored one though. It might be a hybrid of some sort maybe. I'm not sure. Look at that red on its face though. And the yellow stripes. That is really amazing. All right, another T-Rex, but this one is red. That's really cool. This is a much brighter T-Rex than the other ones we have. And it's still got those giant teeth. You better watch out. Here's an interesting looking dinosaur. This is a sarcosagus. It looks kind of like an alligator, don't you think? It's got a huge mouth full of teeth. Here's another bright dinosaur. This looks like it's a hybrid between maybe a stegosaurus and a triceratops. What do you think? Ooh, look at that gold along its spine and the gold on the horns too, and a little bit of battle damage. Let's keep digging for some big dinosaurs. I think I got a few more huge dinosaurs in here. Let's see, oh, here's a big one. All right, a Stegosaurus. Really cool coloring with the green and the brown, so it helps camouflage it into the jungle. And it's got an action button too. You can see there's a button up here. And when you press that, it swings its mighty spikes on its tail back and forth. You better stay out of the way. Ooh, look at this. We've got a huge winged dinosaur right here. And look at the realism with its coloring too. And on its face too. Look at all that yellow and the orange mixed in with the brown. That is a super detailed face. And it's even got some little teeth in its mouth too. 
And right over here, we've got a Pachycephalosaurus. Wow, look at this. And look at the super hard shell on its head to protect it for when it's headbutting people. Look at this one. This one looks a little friendly, don't you think? This is an Amargosaurus, and it's got two action buttons. The first one moves its neck up and down, and the second action button moves its tail. That is cool. I really like the spines all along its back, and look at that orange, too. That is really neat. <laughs> all right, check this out. We've got a, a little Indominus Rex right here, and it comes with the battle damage as well that you can open and close. This, I think this must be a hybrid, maybe a T-Rex of some type. Maybe it's a hybrid with a Dilophosaurus because it's got those, uh, those winged frill things in the front. But this is a super bright T-Rex. And when you move its tail, it can open and close its mouth. And we've got another super bright dinosaur. I think this is a Spinosaurus. But the coloring is obviously different than a normal Spinosaurus. It's mostly blue with the battle damage on the side, and it's got that super bright red spine with the black stripes. All right, next up, we've got a Parasaurolophus. Did you know that these dinosaurs might have been able to breathe fire? We're not entirely sure, but can you imagine if these things were able to spit fire? That's amazing. This is the Majungasaurus. Look at all those spikes everywhere. It's bumpy all along its back. It's got these things underneath its neck as well. All right, check out this Ankylosaurus. And look at that action move right there too. I bet it could defend really well against the Velociraptor. Look at that. Oh no. He's fighting. And he's got that huge protective shell all along the top and those spikes on the side too. This is the Seats Micarorum. Look at those rows of teeth. It's even got an extra row, of just like one giant tooth right there. I bet that helps it out while it's eating. And look at all these spikes along its back as well. You better watch out for this dinosaur in the wild. <laughs> Next up, we've got a Pentaceratops. Look at those five horns on the front. So one, two, three, and then four, five. This is the Edmontosaurus. Did you know that these dinosaurs could walk on either all four legs or just two? Check this out. This is a Baryonyx. It's got an action button on its back. Let's see what that does. Cool, it comes with sound effects too. Let's play that again. And over here, we've got another Sarcosagus. Check this out. This one has different coloring though. You can see it's got purple, and then the orange and red speckles on the side, and then the blue body. And then once again, this huge mouth full of teeth. And here is a tiny little Triceratops. It's still got those huge horns in the front though. You don't wanna mess with those. And this dinosaur has the battle damage as well. All right, we've got another Pachycephalosaurus. And just like the other one, it's got that super hard shell of a head so it can ram into other dinosaurs. <sighs> and over here, we've got some of my favorite dinosaurs, the Velociraptors. Got a yellow one right here, very adjustable. Its mouth opens and closes. And then we've got a brown one as well. Its mouth opens and closes as well. 
These are really cool dinosaurs, but I wouldn't want to meet them in the wild, that's for sure. We've got some more big dinosaurs in here. Check out this huge Allosaurus. That is a super ferocious looking dinosaur. And we've actually got another one right here. And this one has a different action button. You can slide it up and down. And it's got a bunch of different roar sound effects for it. And look at those teeth and the horns too. This is a super mean looking dinosaur. And over here, we've got, well, I'm not sure what kind of dinosaur this is actually. It looks kind of like a Carnotaurus because it's got those horns, but the rest of its body doesn't look quite like a Carnotaurus. Let me know in the comments, do you know what kind of dinosaur this is? And this dinosaur actually has battle damage too. So you can take off parts and reveal its bones underneath. That is super cool. All right, we're nearing the end here, but we've got a few more. This is a Stygimaloc, and it's got that hard head so it can headbutt other dinosaurs, but it's also got these horns up top for defense as well. Better watch out, here is another Velociraptor. Everyone look out, oh no. Let's see. Oh, here is our last land dinosaur of the bin. This is a Herrerasaurus. Look at that long mouth with all those teeth. And this dinosaur has the battle damage too. That is amazing. All right, here are our final three dinosaurs of this giant haul. First off, we've got a Pteranodon. Look at the coloring on its wings. And there's a button that you can press to make it flap its wings. Then we've also got a Dimorphodon. Look at those bright orange and red colored wings on the bottom. And finally, we've got this. I think it's a Dimorphodon, but I'm not actually sure. Comment below if you know what type of dinosaur this is.
Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. I'm super excited to be here with you today. Today, we are unboxing this giant bin of dinosaur toys. We've got some new Camp Cretaceous. We've got some new Jurassic World. We've got some King Kong and Godzilla further down in the bin and so much more. I'm super excited to unbox these with you. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first up, let's go ahead and unbox this Camp Cretaceous figure right here. We got a Scorpios Rex from the Camp Cretaceous. Let's check it out. Wow, so this is a pretty sizable figure, I will say. This is larger than a lot of the ones that we have. All right, so there's two buttons on the top up here. Oh, that's the first one. Check it out, this top button. When you press it, watch what happens, let's see. Nice, so his mouth opens up, reveals his teeth, and the sound effect of his roar. Very cool, let's check out the second button here. So when you press this button, let's see, is that the slashing action? Oh yeah. And it's got a sound effect for that too. That's pretty vicious. This thing is ginormous. And let's check out the tail too. We've got the tail here with the slashing action too. You wouldn't want to be in the way of that tail. That thing would hurt so much. Wow, all right. You'll want to stay out of the way of this one, that's for sure. All right, let's move on to the next dinosaur. All right, next up, let's do the Jurassic World Tyrannosaurus Rex. Let's check it out. All right, yeah, see, this is cool. You don't see this too often. It's a plastic dino throughout most of it, but the tail is a rubber, giving it much more lifelike feel. And it swivels up and down like that. You can already hear those stomp sound effects. Let's hear some more. Very cool. Let's check out this chomping action too. So when you lift them up like this, it locks into place, and then you move the tail upwards, and it comes chomping down. Wow, that's cool. Very cool. And even his neck right here is kind of like rubber, too. You can see it kind of like swivels back and forth. Very cool. I'm super excited to add this to our collection. All right, let's move on to the next dinosaur. Okay, let's check out the Camp Cretaceous Tyrannosaurus Rex, Epic Roarin'. All right, here we go. Wow, look at that. And look at that darker stripe along its back and then the lighter sides. It's got a lighter belly. It's like, a, I don't know if that's tan or yellow. But let's check out these uh, action moves. So you've got the button on the tail right there. You can, already hear, you can already hear the roaring right there. And then the swivel action. So the tail twists back and forth and a little bit up and down. And as you're doing that, it twists the head at the same time. That's really cool. Cause then it gives it a super realistic look. If you're like playing with the dinos, you don't have to have your hand up here. You can have it way back here and it looks super realistic. That's really cool. And let's try out the button too. Let's see how the roar looks. Whoa, that's cool. It's got like some shaking action too when you press the button. When it roars, there's like a battery inside that makes the head roar back and forth while it's roaring. Let's, let's try that out again. And even look inside the mouth, like with the teeth and this tongue right there. Look at that, it's like wiggling back and forth. So when it shakes, the tongue shakes too. That's pretty cool. That's an attention to detail that I really appreciate. I definitely 
am enjoying the swiveling head with the tail. That gives it such a cool look that your hands don't have to be close to the head to make it move. Very cool. Let's check out the next dinosaur. All right, and over here, we've got the Jurassic World Tyrannosaurus Rex. Wow, another Tyrannosaurus Rex. We're really on a roll today. All right, let's check it out here. So it's got kind of the same coloring as the other one. You can see the darker top and then the lighter sides and then the even lighter, like a yellow tan belly and underside. We've got these massive claws once again. So the tail is actually jointed in multiple spots. I bet that's for when you press the button, it really gives it a good swing. Let's try out the tail first. Wow, look at that swing. And it goes all the way to the side and all the way back. It's spring loaded. So you can just keep doing this all day. No batteries required. Very cool. And let's see that chomp action with its face too. You ready? Here we go. Ooh, okay. Twist to the side. It closes its mouth and rips it off. Wow, that's really cool. That's a gnarly attack when it's attacking another dinosaur and it's right there. It would grab it and twist it to the side in its attack. That's very vicious. And look at the teeth on this one too. That is a massive set of teeth. Got the yellow eyes. Very cool. I'm liking this one too. All right, let's move on to the next dinosaur. Next up is a smaller dinosaur here. This is the Monolophosaurus. It is a savage strike from the Camp Cretaceous series. It's pretty cool. All right, so here it is. This is interesting coloring, look at that. It's got a lighter gold coloring on the top and then the green sides and a green bottom. Its legs move, it's got those huge claws, and its arms move too, they're pretty small. And then look at its face, it's got interesting coloring. It's like a mixture of the red and then the yellow that's also on its back as well. Let's check out that chomping action. Here we go with the tail. Very cool, I'm liking that. It's a smaller dinosaur, but I like that it still has an action that you can do with the toy. Very cool. All right, let's move on to the next dinosaur. All right, and our other new dinosaur here, we've got a Diplodocus. Check this out. It's an interesting, like, uh, semi-flexible rubber feeling. The neck is a little bit flexible, too. And check out the coloring. You've got this like red brown, and then you've got these stripes of green all the way up the neck too. Check that out. And then got a little bit of yellow on the underbelly and on the legs as well. This is very cool. There are no moving parts in this one. There's no buttons or anything, but it is somewhat movable. It does have a pretty lifelike feel, I think. Let's check out that face. It's kind of a cute face, you know? Look at those eyes right there. This is pretty cool. This is a, I believe it's a pretty massive dinosaur in real life, the actual size. But this is a very cool model of a dinosaur to have. All right, let's go ahead and check out all these other dinosaurs.
Want to see more dino videos? Click the subscribe button now.